Stone Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of football. European style, baby. Now, I ain't telling nobody nothing as we follow the football anyway. But we're going to talk a little Champions League and legends. Just legends all over the place. You know, anybody following the European Champions League, and you know, most of you should, this is the best versus the best. All the mother, we wait for a couple and all that. I ain't even trying to hear about it. Champions League are the best versus the best, right, in, in every league. And it's been legendary up until now. Uh, the quarterfinals were epic, uh, you know, epic. And um, now we got the, the semis now. But those quarterfinals, I remember talking to a friend about it, and I was telling him, you know, Juventus, I think they was down, no, AC Rome, AS Rome. They were down versus uh, Barcelona and Messi, you know, 4-1, first leg. You know, it's basically over, right? I remember telling a friend, I said, well, you know, the good thing about that, him, them and Juventus right now is, as a coach, you can just walk in the room and just tell them that, look, man, you behind against Liano Messi and Barcelona, but, but one of the best players in the world, and Juventus too. Same coach, saying the same thing. Man, you down versus one of the best players in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo, 3-0. Listen, if you guys win this some kind of way, because I don't even know how, I'm going to go home and go to sleep and try to come in tomorrow with some lie to tell y'all how y'all going to do it. Right? But whatever, at the end of the day, it's going to take a whole lot of effort. If you do do that, guess what? You're officially legends. You're not immortal yet, but you're definitely legends. To come back from a leg like that. So, guys, go home, get some sleep, and let's get at it. Easy speech, because that's, all, that's what it is. Now, AS Rome got through, came back all the way back on Lionel Messi in Barcelona. That's epic. Those guys, you know, it's, it's hard to probably keep them from just everybody partying. I'm pretty sure people miss work the next day. You know, I'm sorry, boss. I, well, I forgot the number. I didn't even know how to call because I was just messed up, right? Because that was huge. Absolutely huge to see that. And Juventus, the effort was huge. They didn't make it. Cristiano Ronaldo, a penalty shot, that penalty shot, eight minutes or seven minutes after time, right? And if you miss, you're going home, you know, that kind of stuff. Ronaldo comes through, comes through again, you know, best player in the world, in my opinion, period. Matter of fact, Messi's there, but I would say Ronaldo, if I had to pick one, is Cristiano Ronaldo. But they're both off the charts. We're talking best of all time kind of charts. We ain't talking about, you know, sixth and seventh on the all time list. We're talking about people talking about them first four. You're going to see probably both of these names in there in a minute. I'm serious. It's just ridiculous. But anyway, we have the semis now. And you're talking about Liverpool as Rome, right? As Rome, it's cream now. Those guys can relax. They've done something awesome. You know what I mean? They've done something awesome, awesome, made the whole city, probably even all of Italy, happy. So if they, you know, don't win, it won't be that bad, which makes them dangerous. Because everything's cream. And Jekko ain't no joke anyway. All right? I'm glad to see him on the world stage again. But don't be forgetting that Jekko. One of the best doing it out there. Okay? Let me tell you. And I like, you know, I like uh, uh, people, those strikers that have both feet. Right? And can uh, have headers as well. You know, because you don't have time to score stuff. You know, you got to do whatever it is. You ain't got time to put it on your on your strong leg. I like players to do that. Well, you know, obviously Cristiano Ronaldo was one. Right? But anyway, let's go back to it. So, as Rome, they're going to be dangerous anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, and my man, Liverpool, are playing above what the people, their expectations. Kleppo, baby. Kleppo. Jorgen Klopp. It's going to achieve legendary status. Liverpool is overachieved. No act like nobody thought they was going to be this far. They didn't. Right? <laughs> what are they in the league right now? I think it was number two, though. They climbed. Last time I looked, I haven't looked lately. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But Jordan Club is handling his business. And this could be legendary status for him to, to take Liverpool to the finals. He took Dortmund to the finals. Had Dortmund all up in Bayern's mess, you know, for a few years playing that pressing style that he plays. So this has his signature all on it. Because don't be trying to add any no world stars on his team. Right? So, you know, this is club old and, and company. You know, no slight to the players because they got to do it. But you guys got a good coach and you know it. Right? So this will be, you know, a tribute to him to do anything over there with Liverpool like that. Right? 
So let's go on into the other one. You know what I'm saying? Let's go on to Bayern. You know, you know, I'm a little Bayern hater. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. I mean, Bayern. You know, they, they, you know what I don't like about Bayern is the Bundesliga is boring because of them, right? So that's not where they, you know we got. They got way more money than everybody. As soon as everybody, somebody's doing good on the other team, right? Then Bayern and start giving them, <laughs> giving them offers and stuff to mess with their head. Then maybe even buy them and send them on the bench just so the other team don't have. You know, it's, it's just no parody. It's really every year is Bayern versus whoever's playing well that year. That's it. So Bayern is going to win that. And they're going to win the Pokal or, or the, the Cup too, right? The League Cup. They're going to win those two anyway. You know, if they don't, something spectacular has had to happen, right? And uh, hence, Jordan Club a few years. But anyway, Bayern going to win. They won this year. They're already champions now. Everybody else playing. Bayern already figuring out what they're going to do in Champions League. Anyway, so Bayern, right, though, at the end of the day, we're talking about another legend here. we talking about I'm supposed to have a statue in front of the Allianz Arena kind of stuff here. Right, and you should have one already. But if your Heinkies wins this Champions League with Bayern, you know what? They better have a statue there by the time they get back on the bus. Okay, because he deserves a, a statue already. The guy has won the triple once with Bayern. Not easy to do. You know, because everybody ain't won a tri triple. Now, he's on his way this year. He's already won the league. Another cup he's going to win anyway. Right? But, you know, he's in the semis, right? Cementing his legendary, legendary status in Bayern land. Don't even try it. Your Heinkes, if he wins the Champions League, need a statue. And by the time he gets back there and a ceremony after that, you know, you know, we got the ceremony for everybody. And then he gets his own statue ceremony. That's what he's supposed to be doing. That's how, And Bayern has a chance because Bayern, you know, let me tell you something. Bayern is like the team, you know, it's the German team, right? And England, no. England, no. You know, they don't want to be seeing no Germans, right? But luckily, they ain't got to deal with them, right? The thing is, is, you know, Bayern is going to handle their business. It's their hard to beat. And Real Madrid, we're coming to them in a minute. They're not happy to have to deal with Bayern, right? These are disciplined guys. You know, they, they're all good. They always have been. The people from El Bench are, right? Not the super duper world stars, but they know Lewandowski is one. Hey, listen, he's got to be top five of strikers in the world. Lewandowski, he's been doing it for a long time with Bayern, with Dortmund, and on his Polish team. Right? We know he's one of the baddest ones. And everybody else is. And even the old dudes on, on the wings, Ribery and Robin, don't let them have a throwback game on you. Robin going to do the same thing, you know, on the, on the, on the right side, bat, 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 fake right, and then go left and shoot it outside of the, p the penalty area, which I don't know. It's like me when I'm mad about players that don't guard the strong hand in basketball. It's the same thing. It's like Robin, if I was defending him, I am not going for any fakes to the right. Go to the right. But you, as a matter of fact, you better the end kick with the right foot. You're not going left here, but I don't know, but it's easy to say because he's fast. And Ribery is too. And, you know, they're you know, they going to uh, probably, this is probably their uh, swan song. I know they're gonna, they've are gonna signed, they've extended, but this is probably the last time you get this far together, so they're going to be motivated. Bayern's going to be uh, uh, someone hard to beat. And if anybody beat Bayern within, you know, two legs, then you're, you're doing well, whoever you are. So that brings us to Real Madrid. And basically, we're in it. To win it. You know what I mean? We in it to win it. And they got Cristiano Ronaldo. Period. I mean, everything. I mean, you got some people. You got know, Gareth Bell on the bench. Ain't really had a good year. Maybe he might, you know, in those injuries, maybe he might step it up. But I'm talking about the best player in the world. Right? And it's proven. It. He's leading in Champions League goals again. Right? Man is leading again. Keep scoring. Y'all saw that. Uh, what is that? Windmill kick? The, 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 man, get out of here. Ridiculous highlights. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen that. You know, saving the game, you know, and stuff like that. You know, the man's fast. He can do whatever it is. It, it is awesome. Now, that defense is looking suspect right now. But that could just be a game. I'm pretty sure Zidane Zidane is on it. Right? They will be ready. I'm pretty sure. 
but you know they have that that X factor in Cristiano Ronaldo. Everybody else is good. Tony Kroos is going to give them the right balls when that in the middle uh, field. He's going to give the right. But Tony Kroos, when he kicks that ball forward, most of the time it comes to whoever he was trying to kick it to, right? One of the best in the game at doing so. You know they have some stuff in there. They ain't in here by accident, which nobody is. So it's going to be interesting. But my point here is, if Real Madrid wins, that's three times in a row. No one had done it twice. So we're talking immortality when we're talking Real Madrid. Y'all mess around with this one. You guys, are, you know, you, you surpass Galactico. Remember them? You know, Figo and them? You know, matter of fact, Zidane Zidane and all them? Yeah, and Roberto Carlos in the back, Ronaldo and all them boys. This team right here, mess around with this one, there, that's, no, that's the, the best team in football history. Now, I'm not the football aficionado, but I think even I know that. So let's check it out. Only legend. Whatever happens in these next two games and to the final is will be legendary and historic. And more so than just a guy winning or a team winning the Champions League. I'm talking about someone is going to be super legendary somewhere. And that is worth watching. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, and everybody here, y'all.